In a rear end collision on a freeway, a car of mass 1 times 10 to the 3 kilograms traveling east at 20 meters per second crashes into the back of a bus of mass 5 times 10 to the 3 kilograms traveling east at 8 meters per second. Answer the following questions assuming the car and bus lock together on impact and ignoring friction. Okay. Calculate the final common velocity of the vehicles. All right, now I haven't given you a lot of room for this, but the very first thing I would do with anything like this is draw a diagram. So I'm going to squeeze it up here. There's our car. There's our bus. So they're both traveling in the same direction. So that mass is 1 times 10 to the 3. That mass is 5 times 10 to the 3. Uh, our speeds are 20 meters per second. And over here, 8 meters per second. Okay. So anytime you have a momentum question, where, or any, well, first of all, anytime you see a collision question, it's probably momentum. Okay, if you see a collision, it's probably momentum. So, to calculate the final common velocity of the vehicles, we need to remember that momentum is conserved. Whatever the momentum was before the collision will be exactly the same as the momentum after the collision. Mm -hmm. So, we need to work out the momentum before. So, our initial momentum is going to be equal to the momentum of the car plus the momentum of the bus. Okay, the total momentum. So, our momentum of our car is just mv, so 1 times 10 to the 3 multiplied by 20, plus our momentum of the bus, which is 5 times 10 to the 3 uh, times 8. Okay, so now... Our initial momentum is, what's that, 20,000 plus 40,000, so that'll be 60,000 kilogram meters per second. So we've got our initial momentum. Okay. So I've just, I've skipped a step maybe, but if you put all that into a calculator, you should get 60,000. So that's our initial momentum. We know that our final momentum is going to be equal to the same thing. Okay, because momentum is conserved. So, final momentum is equal to 60,000. Now, after the collision, it says here, the car and the bus lock together. Okay, so after the collision, we basically have this one crumpled heap that is all travelling at the same speed. So, we consider that as one mass. If it's locked together, we can consider the mass of the whole lot. So, that momentum... Is going to be equal to mass times velocity. So the mass of the car and the bus locked together multiplied by the common speed of the car and the bus. So if we rearrange this, we are looking for V. So V is going to be our momentum divided by our mass. So the momentum is 60,000. Our mass is 6,000. So our momentum, oh sorry, our final speed is 10 metres per second. So that's the final common velocity. They've collided, they've stuck together, so that momentum has gone in there. Now, common sense test, does it pass? Why? Alright, excellent. It is between the two speeds that we had initially. Okay, uh, the car has hit the bus, so the car is going to slow down. The bus will speed up. Okay, that satisfies both of those. All right. Calculate the change in momentum of the car. All right. So change in momentum is going to be equal to change multiplied by or the change of the mass times the velocity. Now, has our mass changed for our car? No, nah, the car's mass hasn't changed. So, we can rewrite that as mass multiplied by change in velocity. 
Now, when we have the change in anything, I've just gone through this with my year 11s. What's the formula for the change in something? Final Excellent. Final minus initial is your is your formula for the change in in anything. So, our mass for our car is 1,000 multiplied by our final velocity, which is 10, minus our initial velocity, which is 20, which is negative 10,000 kilogram meters per second. All right, what does that negative mean? Slowed down. It's just, it's gone in the opposite direction. So if our car was initially traveling east and we have that change in momentum, that is equal to 10,000 kilogram meters per second west. Okay, the change in velocity is to the opposite direction the car is moving in. Okay, because it's slowing down. So our change in momentum is west. Okay. All right, calculate the change in momentum of the bus. So again, change in momentum is equal to uh, m dv, because again, our mass of the bus doesn't change. So our mass of the bus, was it 5,000? Yeah. Thank you. Times uh, final was 10, minus initial was 8, which is positive 10,000 kilogram meters per second. Yep, so 10,000 kilogram meters per second east. Okay, final bit. Verify that momentum of the system is constant. We can do that. So, our change in momentum of our whole system is equal to our change in momentum of our car plus our change in momentum of our bus. So our change in momentum of our car, we worked out was negative 10,000. Change in momentum of our bus was just 10,000. So therefore, our total change of momentum was zero. So therefore, no change in momentum. Momentum is conserved. Okay, so a collision question, don't use energy. Use momentum always. Okay, people have made mistakes with this and you can get it wrong if you use kinetic energy rather than momentum. Always use momentum.